see what that do. Wow, check out that, that sharp drop off right there. That's a sharp drop off. Old Sandy Banks on the old Lake Houston. Got some bait hanging right there on it. See if we can find us a piece of structure. Twelve foot of water. Mm, 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 mm. Sleep. Well, like we starting off on a good foot, man. That fish is warm. Uh oh, don't go, don't get in his gills now. Well, he sucked it in there. Come on out of there, sickle. Nice little fish. Keeper fish, but. Probably going to just do catch and release today. So, good morning to you people. It's always a beautiful morning. Nice and crisp this morning. 47 degrees when I walked out of the house. Then warmed up now. It's probably 50, 52. And, uh, the fish are feeding. That's always a good thing. A little bit of wind this morning, but nowhere near as bad as, as uh, what it was the past few days. Gonna see if we can't get on some big fish today. So I'm starting off with the 10 foot Denali Prime. Got a uh, two inch lemon, no, one and three quarter, excuse me, one and three quarter lemon lime stinger tail with a one eighth head lemon tackle. Awesome products. And uh, we're gonna just see if we can feed a few.
Mm, mm, mm. There we go. I feel like a better man. Yeah, a little better. A little better fish. Man, they're sucking it down. Mm. Nice fish. Black. That's a black. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that live scope I'm telling y'all is so much fun it's unreal the ability to see your bait see the fish see their reaction just uh don't get no better there we go Nice little fish. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice and Biggins, Lillins, Mediums, we'll take it. Those of you that are not real familiar with live scope, there are a couple things that I see that, since I'm guiding now, I see that my clients struggle with a little bit. And whether it's on a pole or on your tramp, on your uh, troll motor, you have to keep up with that 20 degree cone. There's only a 20 degree cone that this thing is is uh, actually spotlighting. And you'll see me making these adjustments right here, and that's all to keep my jig in view of that transducer i'm controlling the the, the troll motor to to uh direct that beam on the structure and the fish that i see so i also have to make adjustments with my jig to present that jig to that fish and another big thing too is the right side of the screen is farther away you know, I see. A lot, I mean, it, it happens every trip to where it's these guys move their jig to the right side of the boat when they see that the fish or the structure is towards the right side of that screen. But that's that's actually the farther away. Like right now, I got my troll motor pointing towards the back of the boat, so the right side of the screen is at the back of the boat. And that's that's. It took me a while, so I totally understand uh, when I see people struggle with that, but. 
it's something that you have to get used to to be good at using this live scope deal. Yep, little one came out of there. Oh, that's a good one. Nice little one. This is the dude right here, y'all. I'm gonna tell you. This dude here is the number one spot buzzard. Hate to call people out, but I've never seen nobody. As hard on following people as this dude here. And he'll be over here dog, bird dogging this spot as soon as I leave. Just don't make no sense. No pride. Mm hmm. Good fish. Nice little black. Nice one. Boat position, y'all. And just like that. Nice little fish. Mm-hmm. Beautiful little fish. Mm-hmm.
rejse. Another very important thing to know, uh, and it's dealing with that 20 degree cone again, you have seconds, I mean literally seconds to present that jig to that fish at the right speed with the right action to entice it to bite. Uh, and getting that jig, keeping your jig within that cone is, is more important than what anybody will tell you. It's the number one thing in my book, uh, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Wow. Pink, green, short. One of my favorite colors. Started out. Started out with uh, doing a catch and release. And. Uh, you fish just uh, out of control. Little black. Wow. Get out of here. This was just part one. Part two will be coming soon. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to click that button and also hit that bell so you'll be notified when my new releases are made. Also, 
tell your friends and buds to come over and subscribe to the channel. More coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching.